And while that cleanup is taking place, help is on the way. Billions of dollars are closer to getting to Americans dealing with the aftermath of natural disasters. The Senate approved an aid bill Thursday, and the House is expected to do likewise Friday. Although this package doesn't have universal support, John Lorenick reports. It took months to accomplish, but the Senate comes through with a bipartisan disaster relief plan. That will provide long overdue relief for Americans in the Midwest, in the South, in the West, and yes, the territories, including Puerto Rico. The $19.1 billion bill will provide funds for areas dealing with the aftermath of floods, wildfires, and hurricanes. The Senate passage of this legislation marks a huge step forward for communities across the U.S. that have gone far too long without receiving this federal assistance to help them get back on their feet. President Trump issued a tweet Thursday applauding the move, saying the U.S. Senate has just approved a $19 billion disaster relief bill with my total approval. Great. However, not everyone agrees. We can do better, and the first action we should take to show we could do better, we should call the House back in. We should stay here, finish the supplemental disaster, and show the American public that we can govern. Republican Senator Mitt Romney of Utah was among the eight who voted against the bill, tweeting that it was loaded up with billions of dollars in unrelated pet projects. The bill does not include funding for President Trump's border wall. I'm John Lawrence reporting. Key Republicans lawmakers say President Trump plans to sign the bill once it passes through the House.